Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. We did get asked one question about uh, how, how do we feel about um, uh, Iraq Veteran 8888's uh, price guide. Okay, uh, what was that question? Do you know? It was further back in. It's basically like, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about them charging money, essentially? Um, okay. <clears throat> me personally, I'm sorry. I just had my son come and go something at me. So this is my list. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you leaving tonight? No, sir. Okay. Cool. We'll talk in a minute. Okay. All right. So um, I, I personally feel like this. Um, if you go back and, and Hank said it a couple of times, you have to make sure that you watch the entire video or at least listen to the entire video. Uh, and I will highly recommend doing it at least once before you listen to Yankee Marshall. Not because I necessarily disagree with everything Yankee said, but it does provide context if you go listen to it first, where you can make your own decision. Uh, but in general, uh, from what I remember hearing, and I listened to it, I was on the road, so I was able to listen to it twice. Eric said he doesn't, it, the Iraq veteran 8888 stated they don't take money from the NRA. That's what he said. He, he said that pretty, pretty loud and clear. Mm -hmm. He never said he didn't, ex he didn't have any kind of financial business that I remember hearing. So when the price guy came out, uh, about how much he charges companies to do things. Really, as long as he's still giving his honest opinion, I think that is the American way. You know, I don't let somebody buy your opinion off. But if they're willing to pay you to do a, you know, this this camera stuff, man, and I, I only got baby stuff compared to what some of these guys have. And this stuff is not cheap. Running these channels is not cheap. It's 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 really not. Uh, you talking ammo, guns, time, help, editing. This stuff is costly. So for a business to have to pay a guy $4,000 to spend whatever amount of time to do a quality uh, promotion of their product is pennies compared to what magazines and uh, yeah. big broadcasting stations and, you know, uh, advertising companies charge. So if I'm a company and these guys over here at whatever, whatever ABC promotions want $25,000 for a 30 second spot, which is about what it costs and you want four thousand dollars and you're going to do a 30 minute video about my stuff that's going to reach three plus million people i really don't see a problem with that as long as you're not telling me to buy this gun and it rocks when you really know it sucks as long as we don't have that that conflict i don't i think it's a it's a great way to make a rep make a living i don't see a problem yeah, Walter, did you want to add to that before no, i uh no, i don't you know? i agree with kevin on if hey you know nobody's twisting your leg to do it um um, advertising other mediums is expensive, I know, and it doesn't work all the time or at all. Um, um, always remember, though, three million viewers doesn't mean there's three million buyers. Okay, that's true. So you know, when the guy in France is watching, or the guy in England's watching, or in the or in the hut in Namibia, um, I'm going to equate the, but nevertheless, you're getting that you're getting your name out in front of those people. So it's, I guess it's all good. So yeah. I haven't done it yet, but. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I think about it? I think even if you listen to Yankee Marshall, he says he doesn't have a problem with that, right? This is a whole entire industry. And I don't have a problem with it. They can ask whatever they want. It's kind of yeah. like an it's like an athlete. If he if he says, Hey, I need twenty million dollars and you pay it, good for you, good for him. Yeah, I, I believe in freedom. So if you believe in freedom, I mean, it's a real you know, thing. You want a hundred grand Everyone's for your, free. You want to try to sell your truck you just bought for twenty for a hundred, and some guy gives you a hundred. Take it, baby. <laughs> you know, you're not you're not twisting his arm. Huh. Yeah, if you say that you believe in freedom, if you say that you believe in um, capitalism and all that kind of stuff, then you can't turn around and say that people can't do what they want to do because they can do what they want to do. Huh. And I think if you listen to Yankee Marshall, what he's saying, he says he doesn't have any problem with that. I think where he where he has an issue with it, I, I think in this case, he's kind of using that as as like that's a stone that he could throw at the IV 8888 guys, right? So he's just taking that stone and throwing it because they're going in this back and forward thing. Right. Um, maybe he came to the point where he feels like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, shit just got real <laughs> kind of a thing. So I'm gonna show you guys and put this thing out there. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. What I personally believe, and I think even what he's saying is that if you do something, if you're disclosing that to people, then it's all good. But does that mean that people have to disclose everything to you? I don't know. I personally believe in disclosing everything 
to folks out there. And that's what I do. So when we do videos, we put in the front of the video, we, we have a, several people that sponsor us, including Walter. So if you look at my videos, you'll see that there's like three or four different openings that rotate through the normal videos, right? And it, it it's, has to do with someone who sponsors us. So say, okay, we're sponsored by Safety Harbor Firearms or RAND CLP or whoever it is, right? We say that. And then at the end of the video, there's an end card that says, these people sponsor this channel. If you look in the description of the video, it says, these people sponsor the channel. If I'm talking to you, like in this conversation, someone asked about RAND CLP and I said, guess what? They sponsor me. People send me messages and they say, what do you think about the SHTF 50? The first thing I'm going to say is, well, Safety Harbor sponsors me. Mm -hmm. So well, just take you know what? that, Here, here's that with a grain of salt if you want to know what I think about something. And, you know, and the thing is, like Lola's saying it here in the background, that I've gotten flack from people about that for a long time. I mean, even like from other people that do what I do, they're like, well, why are you telling people all these things that you do? But you see, that's what I believe. I believe in letting have, you they guys don't have to do that if they don't want to. Yeah, but, but other people don't have to do that. Right. But, but what happens, though is if you make the decision that you don't want to put that out there and for whatever like, reason i'm not saying it's a bad nefarious reason you just might not want to do that right um if you decide not to put that out there then someone pulls away the curtain you know like in the wizard of oz when <laughs> when there was, was a saying, little guy there yeah pay no attention to that guy behind the curtain if yeah. someone pulls the curtain on you you also have to be willing to deal with that and i the reason why i do it is because i don't believe that anything like stays hidden you know, everything will see the light of day. Everything will find its way to, to the truth of what things really are. So I always put things out there as much as I possibly can, right? And let people know what's going on. Um, so to, I don't know, to, if I can bring that point home, what I think is that this, I've told you guys this over and over again, that a lot of what's happening in our world is like wrestling. It's like WWF or E or whatever the hell it is now. And you you have to be the grown up. When I first came to America, I would get in fights all the time because I told people, hey, this wrestling thing's not real. And then they'll kick my ass because, you know, <laughs> uh, even and, and I'm sure they knew it wasn't real, but they didn't want me to tell them that it wasn't real. You're so ruining is, your dream, man. Yeah, this is one of the weird things that that's happened to me so many times in life. I could tell you guys stories over and over again where there were people and I try to help them out and tell them, okay, this is what's going on. Some people don't like, it's the red pill and the blue pill. Some people want to live in that dream. They want that fantasy. They don't want that to be broken. So I'm not knocking anyone else for what they do. But if you're a grown up and you're watching videos on YouTube and you're thinking to yourself that this is all innocent and everything you see is real and we all love each other and we all get along and whatever, then you, you need to go are living some, in a fantasy world. You need to go watch some wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, this, is an, this is another thing from Lola. She says um, it's like high school. There are cliques. And then the people who have and the people who have not, and there's the nerds and the jocks. Yep. You know, there's the dude who's rich and he, you know, he, he his father owns a dealership a car dealership or something. And, and then there's a guy a brand that, new car. And there's a guy that gets along with everybody. Yeah. yeah. So I think that that's how a lot of this goes. And um personally, I don't believe in putting people's dirty laundry out there. Um, you know, that that ha to me, that's a thing like you're really, really getting drastic when you do that, you know, and it, and I feel like at this point, Yankee Marshall, just like, you know, he said, OK, that's it. You know, the gloves are coming off. Was and that, his start, hail, that was his Hail Mary pass. Yeah, I'm going to start I'm going to start airing people's dirty laundry and all that. Well, and, what comes around goes around with that stuff, too. You got to be careful. Yeah. And so now that's going to become a whole thing. I mean, I saw that I knew that people were going to be asking me about this because people were already asking me about it before I came on air. So I looked at it and I saw that he changed his video because he was threatened uh, with being sued. You know, yeah. Colin, like what stage are we at right now? Like there's other people to fight. There's other we are surrounded. We're like on an island regardless of. Who's the big shot? Who makes all the money? You know, who doesn't make any money? Like we are on an island of we're gun guys. We believe in guns. We want guns. We want to have access to guns now and in the future. 
right? So we're on this island. We are surrounded with everyone else trying to kick our asses. At some point, we have to just say, okay, you know, we had our little scuffles. Let's put it aside and move on because for the common cause. Yeah. I mean, and I don't know, like Kevin, you're, you're kind of new to this. Did any of this, that anything that's come out, has any of this shocked you? No. See, I, I look at things, you know, like I said, before I decided to do, get into the whole social media of the things uh, roughly about a year ago or whatever it was, um, I was still around it. I wasn't so much dealing with the personalities and stuff like that, but it's, it's no different to me than, than the world of law enforcement. It's, Everybody wants to be the big guy and the big guy is always getting attacked, right? And then as soon as you get the big guy's job, you become attacked, you try to defend it. It's a revolving cycle. It's It truly is high school. One of the first conversations me and you had, you was like, this is going to be like high school all over again, dude. You know, it's one of the first conversations me and you had. And so, although I hadn't seen it, when I saw it, I was like, oh, A, he was right. And B, yeah, it's just like high school. It reminds me of working back at the PD. I don't, I don't like it. You know, necessarily. And I'm a, I'm a big fan, just like when I got called out about how, how come you aren't calling out the NRA for what they said? Here's my thing. If you are friends with a guy, you can say something I flat out disagree with, but I'm not going to make a video or outwardly attack you. I'm going to call you. I'm going to say, hey, what's up, dude? What, why, why you say that? What's up? What's going on? Mm -hmm. And I think his friends or people that you respect deserve that kind of conversation. That's what grown people do. They say, hey, man, people are asking me. I just want to get your word on how are you feeling? Um, so even when he came out, Yankee came out here, he went at um, Iraq veteran. It's like, to me, they're making a living, man. He's, he's in a small town in Georgia. He's, he's trying to make a living. He does put out a lot of content. He found a way to make it lucrative for him. If he's, I don't even know if the four grand is enough for him to truly turn a profit. Cause I don't know what he's spending on his camera equipment and cameraman. I don't know. So I don't, I don't have a problem with it. I yeah, do. But, I mean, if, we're, if we're watching their videos, if, if we're watching their videos and we see the level of production and all that kind of stuff that obviously goes into their videos, right? Right. How the hell do you, you know, that, that all of that costs something. So th this is one thing that we have to factor in. And yes, if someone's doing this full time and if there's a bunch of people involved in this, they're a whole crew. Yeah. You know, how do you think that happens? How do you think that happens as a whole crew? And I know like the people gun have to get paid. Gun. People have to be able to pay their bills. I know the gun collective guy does a lot of his high speed camera work. I remember that from a little while ago. So I'm pretty sure there was some there's some work out there. I mean, I don't have a problem with anybody making a book. And I, I you know, I tell people all the time, like for, for companies that are given product, it's not necessarily all the time a guy being bought off. If Rand, I'm just using them for an example because they brought up if Rand COP says I'm going to give Hank. Um, I don't know. That'd be a hell of a lot of cleaner, but let's say a thousand bucks in cleaning and cleaning supplies and boar snakes and all kind of crap. Here's a thousand bucks, Hank. All right. If Hank gets on here and tells you that these are the best things ever and he knows every damn time he pulls the, the, the boar snake through the burrow, it shreds into pieces. All right. We got a damn problem, Hank. You shouldn't be lying to me. I just went out and spent 30 bucks on this thing. But I'm not going to knock you or anybody else that says, Oh, great. You're giving me something that's going to help me continue to do this. A, you must believe in me. B, you, you're you in business. You want your product to be seen. We can't get upset about that because there were a lot of people saying, I want to only support channels that aren't taking money from anybody or aren't taking products from anybody. Dude, that is unrealistic. Even for everybody had to start somewhere. So for small guys like me, yeah, I'm out doing all this community stuff. Where do you think I get the support from? Yeah. But also, if you don't, if, if that's what you say you want to do, you are free to do that then you need to make sure you're doing the research and, and, and figuring out what you're getting into. I think everyone has to be able to look at themselves in the mirror and live with what they do. For example, you're asking about, you know, you're, you're, uh, you brought up Rand CLP. Before we started dealing with them, we put them through the ringer. All of that stuff, there's videos. There's videos of them. They were like, you know, hey, we want you to check this stuff out. You know, we think it's pretty good. And I'm like, hey, come to the Hacienda and show me this stuff. Then there's then you'll see them coming down and they're showing me things and we're asking them questions and mm -hmm. we tested it out. And um, I, I asked Walter to test it out and tell me what he thinks about it. Babyface. I told him, listen, guys, I'm not going to deal with these guys if this thing's no good. Tell me what you really think about it. We went through all of that. Ultimately, I have to face I face people every day. People see me every day. Right. I don't just go to SHOT Show or go to the NRA show. I actually go out there. And people see me, people see me in the store, they see me in the street or wherever. And if something's terrible, like you just said, if if I was putting the boar snake through there and it was shredding it, 
And they would see me and go, hey, man, what's up with that? What's up with that thing? Yeah. And so I'm the person who has to live with that. However, the way that I live with what I do is, you know, I, tr I always try to telegraph that to people and what I do. And, you know? and that's, that's all you can do. But, yeah. but, I, but I don't think everyone else has to do that, you know, because I know sometimes that kind of like ruins the mystery. <laughs> You know, it's like if you if you like this girl, but she has a push up bra, do you necessarily <laughs> want to know that? <laughs> you know, well, when it comes down to it, you might find out. Yeah, well, you got, you know, but if if you really knew all the things that any woman that you think you're attractive to, if you really knew what the stars that you see in movies that you think, oh, my God, they're so sexy. They're so good looking. That's just a movie. There's people who put makeup on them and edit it and retouch it. Hours, yeah, they yeah they retouch the film and they yeah. they put special lighting. If you see that chick in in, in real life in person without Stretch all marks. that makeup and clothes on and everything, that's just a regular chick. Yeah.